Hello, this is Dr. Don, and I would like to show you how to import your students with a CSV file. If you have large numbers, more than you know, 30, 60, 80, you know, more than that, um, that's probably the best way. So go to uh, first to admin.rocketmath.com and log in to your account. I'm going to log in to my, my principal account here and <clears throat> at the point that you're importing students you probably have no one so uh, the system will automatically give you uh, this pop-up uh, that you can fill out uh, if you're doing you know 30 or fewer at a time uh, our individual teachers are filling it out. They can do that where they just put in username, passcode, select the learning track, and uh, select themselves as manager. Uh, we're going to do uh, the CSV import today, so we're just going to close this. And uh, we begin uh, by import student logins from CSV. But before we even import that, you have to make sure that you have teacher managers in your account. So. Click on Teacher Managers, and you should see uh, your teacher's first names, last name, and their email addresses. Everybody that you're going to assign students to in that CSV import uh, should already be in here. If they're not, uh, you can click on Add Teacher Manager, and you just put in uh, their first name, um, their last name, their email address, and then I make up a passcode for them. Uh, and the system will automatically uh, send them an email uh, telling them what the passcode is, password is that you made up and add them to your list. Uh, and so you can see that uh, Susie Howell is uh, alphabetically in the list. So make sure you have all your teacher managers. Uh, once you have those in, then you can do the CSV import. So back to your dashboard, close out of the pop-up. Once you get some in, that'll stop. OK, click on Import Student Logins from CSV. And that brings you to this page here, which has some directions, has a link to a video that you're watching right now. and. Uh, so the first thing you have to see is you can use only this template. Uh, so you've got to download this template and paste your information into that. You may not use some other kind of CSV. Uh, it won't work. Only this template will work. So click on the template, uh, and it downloads in your browser, however it downloads, and open it up. and. Uh, when it opens, of course, you have to enable editing so you can make use of it. And you'll see the information that you uh, that has to be where you put your information into the template here. Now, if you uh, have that information somewhere else, uh, you can go get that and just paste it. So I have my information here, username, passcode, learning track, and teacher emails for all of the students. Um, so rather than filling it out on there, I just paste it in, and this will work uh, just marvelously. So you just pick that first uh, cell and Control V, and you paste everything in, and now you're you've got all the information you need in this template to install them. Now, uh, very important how you save it. So file, save as, and you. Of course, you have to pick a good place for it. So let's browse. Uh, we'll put it on the desktop. Okay. Um, and then you have to change the name so you can find it. So I'm going to put um, Donald Principal New CSV Student Entry. Okay. And uh, the default is Excel workbook, but that won't work. You have to save as a CSV. So you choose a file type, 
and you have all of these to choose from. And you want to choose this one in the middle here, CSV comma delimited. And when you do that, it will save it as the type CSV, and that will be um, the one that you will work. So save that, and then close it. And now uh, go back to this page. If you lose it, you know, you're in your dashboard to go to import student logins from CSV. Close that. Import student logins from CSV. And now you're ready to choose the file. So we choose the CSV file we just created on our desktop and open it. And then it shows up here in your choose file. Then what you do is scroll down to parse CSV and click on that. And that will uh, use your first hurdle to see if you've got everything correct. If you do, it will show you usernames, passcodes. It will translate the uh, learning tracks into their names. And you'll see the teacher uh, uh, email addresses over here. OK, then you scroll to the bottom of your list and click on Import Students. So a couple of steps to that. It will bring you back to the dashboard, and if it worked, it'll say all students were added successfully, and you see them all listed here with their uh, usernames, passcodes, and account numbers, uh, and you'll be able to do that. Once you're, uh, after that's in there, then from then on, your uh, default will take you to review progress, and that will show you uh, the student usernames and any sessions they've done. Uh, everybody starts on level A, and that's how you know it's going. And so with that, uh, you know how to import student CSVs. And be sure to write me, don at rocketmath.com, if you have any further questions.